Is you guys ready for another fishing adventure? Okay, my back's still pretty much out. It's getting better, but uh, we got here and we realized we forgot a very important thing to fish in. We forgot to fish in that. We catch a big fish, we may be in a little bit of trouble here, guys. Because <laughs> if we get a hold of a big carp, they're not that easy to get up on shore. Just saying. <laughs> this may be quite the adventure. Yeah, we went off and forgot the dang fish in that, man. That's okay. That's okay. Now, the theme for today is, let me get set up. Okay, here we go. Every 30 minutes, here's the theme of today's fishing. Every 30 minutes I don't catch a fish. Now, I'm the only one fishing because Angie decided she wants to read a book. That should be outlawed. Every 30 minutes I don't catch a fish, I'm going to give a fun fact about Versailles State Park. So, starting now. I figured it'd be something fun to do, you know? Something to help add a little bit of excitement to our fishing adventure. And I have a good feeling about today, guys. And I guarantee when today's over, we're probably going to kick ourselves in the ass that we did not bring the net. Now, I'll tell you what happened. I was putting some fluid in the car for the windshield, right? You know, the windshield wiper fluid. And that was on my mind. When we was putting the stuff in the car, we had the net laying right on the outside. And she says, don't forget the net. I was more focused on getting the fluid in the car. So I put the fluid in the car, and we didn't notice we didn't have the net until we got out here. Dang it. It happens. All right, the, the clock is ticking. Uh, let's see what time it is. Hold on. Let's see what time it is. It is 2.58. So let's go to 3.30. Just to be on the safe side. Go to 3.30. And if I don't catch any fish by then, i got to give a fun fact about Purcell State Park. This will be fun. Let's do it. All right. I'm going to give a back update. My back, my back injury. That's what we're going to call it. Uh, it's slowly getting better. It's making slow progress. If everything keeps going the way it is, I may increase my walking this coming week and my miles. See, I walk every day. I'm going to try to increase it, and hopefully by next weekend, hopefully I'll be able to get the hiking. I'm not going to get out in any trails with my back being the way it is right now. There's no way in hell. So slowly it's getting better. Now we'll slowly increase. Now I'm actually, I'm actually doing an exercise that helps the back. And I think it's actually doing its job, although I didn't do it this morning. Whoops. All right, guys. I'm going to fish, and I'll be back when my 30 minutes is up to tell you if I caught a fish. Well, I'll break in and let you know if I caught a fish. Or for a fun fact. We haven't caught any fish yet, but I'm telling you, they're biting like crazy. Oh, yeah, on the worm and dough ball. It's getting hard to keep up with two poles again. Crazy as that sounds. I didn't say I wasn't fishing. I just said I wasn't fishing with my pole. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's fishing. Yeah, I made a videotape. I don't know if I use it. I may keep that for another. Thing. Okay, be back. Okay, I put on Facebook that I forgot the net, right? I don't know if you guys watch Rex 4x4. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. He types in Facebook, says, if I catch the big one, send the wife home for the net. What do you think, wife? Yeah, you'd have it in before I'd get home. Yeah, Ben's home is about mm, 35, 40 minutes from here. It's true. But still in all, <laughs> she could be back here in about an hour and 10 minutes with the net. Next Just saying. Faster, cause I drive faster than you. That is true. She does. Uh, I'm, I'm grandpa. All right, it's almost time for the fun fact, guys. Almost, but you know what's funny? Within that 30 minutes, I've ha I've had over nine or ten good bites. You're probably sitting there saying, "Well, damn, Mike, you got that many bites. Why well, didn't you catch a fish by now?" Because I'm an amateur. <laughs> Ain't it obvious? All right. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm like two minutes till my time, and I thought I was do the fun fact now. Okay, we're gonna do it, but I'm gonna watch my poll. Okay, before Versailles State Park was a park, what you see here, which is the lake, this wasn't here. This was all cropland, farmer's crops. What they did was, they cut it into 
Hogan's Creek, if I'm not mistaken, or Lothry Creek. And it slowly became what it is today, which is the lake. It took a long time. They did this back in 1943. So back before then, this all was farmland. This all belonged to peoples. So I probably didn't do that fun fact justice, but enough of you guys get the mist of it, right? <laughs> Never quote me. I could be wrong. And more than likely I is. But that's what little bit I remember. All right. I'm going to change baits or check baits. And as soon as I get my baits on and out, next 30 minutes is the next fun fact. I hope I catch one. But that's okay. I got lots of facts about this park. Just saying. You know what time it is? It's tea time. Mm. Not a sponsor, but some damn good cold tea right there. I'm telling you, it hits the spot. Not a sponsor. But I sponsor them if they want me to. Just saying. Okay, there's a heron, and I'm trying to watch my lines. But watch me get a bite as I'm telling you this. Okay, you see where the people are down there? Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, right there, you see the heron? The heron's in between us and the people down there. So I'm telling Angie, I'm saying, grab my camera, zoom in. We could get a picture of the heron that way. Although, like, we have thousands of pictures of the herons here. But she likes the herons. I get that. But she's like, no, no, the people might be, a f people might think we're zooming into them. I was like, so? They say anything? I just give them the one bubble mic one card. Yeah, they can watch my videos. But wouldn't it be better to zoom in on my handheld to get a better shot of the heron than sitting here with the dang cell phone trying to take a cell phone shot? Just saying. Oh, big bite, big bite. You'd think I'd put the camera down, wouldn't you? See, I'm an amateur. Bad news. You won't be able to get another fun fact from me for another 30 minutes. I caught a fish. A pretty cool little bluegill, and Angie, there's a van coming over right now. Oh man, look at this van. This is a camping van. I don't want to zoom into it because I don't want them to get mad at me, but look at this beautiful camping van. Oh my god, I want that so bad. So is Ange. But anyway, let's run that footage now of that beautiful little bluegill I caught, okay? And we'll see you on the next one. I caught me a bit. Oh, oh dumpster's getting a bite, Ange. I caught me a baby fish. I caught me a baby fish. Don't need a net for you now, do I? Oh, a bluegill. I ain't caught one of you guys in a long time. You're beautiful. You know what that means, don't you? I don't have to tell a fun fact for at least another 30 minutes. You got my GoPro wet. What we just seen was the 2022 Thor motor coach camping van something like that want well, to take a wild guess how much money ninety thousand dollars for that i think we'll stick with buying our own van and fixing it up as a camping van something very cheap and cheesy ninety thousand dollars for that i don't think the one that went by was a 22. you don't no oh okay okay but still in all still, it was beautiful it was I thought she was a fishing. Look at her. She is fishing bottom. Her. All right, we're gonna see if you catch this fish. You told me to watch it and it had a bite. Well, I'm hoping you catch something. This should be quite educational. Cause you never fish bottom. I'm not, this is your pole. I know. You were putting a worm on and you told me to watch it. So and I watched it. Alright guys, this is Angie Caston, the open reel. I'd be a son of a gun. She didn't do too bad now, did she? That's good right there, honey. That's good. I mean, damn! You've not touched an open reel fishing pool in what, about maybe, well, since last year. I don't like them. That right there, my friends, is a thunderstorm coming.
But I'm not going to be a baby this time. I'm actually going to sit here. And if it starts pouring down rain, this GoPro is fine. This one on my handheld isn't. But I'm only going to run if I see lightning. You know? Like a little baby. Like I did last time. Yeah. But guys, I tell you what, fishing in the rain and stuff, I believe you get better bites anyway. But I'm still dealing with the damn turtle. And the only one getting hits, good hits right now would be Lucifer. That's the one with the worm. So I report back. I promise. I won't say nothing else until I have a fun fact. Unless I catch another fish. Just saying. Okay, no fish in that 30 minutes. Fun fact number two. Since this place, the land here, was occupied by people, farmers and stuff many years ago, a lot of things was left behind. You know, anytime they ever did any digging or put things together, you know, you know, you know. They found artifacts. And they also found artifacts from the Native Indians, the Native Americans. Did I say that right? And some of these artifacts can be anywhere from pots, things they cooked with, bow and, no, not bows and arrows, arrowheads. And this place is just loaded with artifacts. That building right over yonder, that's the camp store. Right next to it is the nature center. Inside there, they have a lot of the artifacts here that they found on the premises, on the grounds. And some of these date back pretty much a thousand years to twelve hundred years. Oh yeah. But yeah, one time Versailles State Park, this was all owned by, this was all farms. People owned this. And then they sold it and that's how it became the what it is today. But yeah, pretty interesting. That's kind of a fun fact, right? All right, guys, 30 minutes from now, I'll come up with a better fun fact, unless I catch one. Catching a turtle, which I haven't caught none yet, I'm hoping I don't, would that be the same as catching a fish? I mean, if I catch a turtle, would I still be expected to tell a fun fact? I don't know. Okay, I was making a skit video a few seconds ago, right? By the way, my skits, I have, oh, there's a bite, there's a bite. Guys, I'll be back and tell you about the skip videos in just a second, okay? Okay, I missed that fish. I had to put another worm on. I only have one worm, one worm left. After that one, I'll be going dough balls on both pulls. But anyway, I have actually have a skit out there. Now, if you guys want to see some silly, completely idiotic, completely what the hell did I watch, I've been putting, I will be putting skits up once a weekend if I can. At 9 a.m. on Saturday mornings. That's right. Uh, so yeah. Go over and check that out. And down in my description. I actually have a place you guys can follow my videos. You can see the outtakes. The things that never make it to YouTube. Lots of pictures. The outtakes. Some of the footage that I don't put in YouTube. I put there. All you have to do is go down. Look for One Bubba Mike 1 on Facebook. Yeah. Subscribe. Or do you subscribe on Facebook? I don't know. Join the group. Yeah, that's better. But yeah, the skits are out going out at 9 a.m. every Saturday morning. If you want to watch something that you'd be like, what the hell did I just watch? I also need to make a new channel trailer, too. I'm going to probably do that this fall. But guys, I'm going to get back to fishing. And it's almost time for a fun fact. Unless I could catch one. That was a fish that just jumped. Did you hear that? I did. Well, another 30 minutes went by and I still ain't caught a dang fish. Had some good bites. So, fun fact number three. For sale State Park is the second largest state park here in the state of Indiana. True. The largest state park here is Brown County State Park. And for sale State Park is right next to it. Just saying. Alright guys. That would be fun fact number three. See, it was a short one. It was a little one. But still a good one to know, right? All right, hopefully we'll catch them. Now we have plans for the next video to go to Osgood Trails, but it's going to rain. Yeah. Just like last time, we was cut out by rain and my bad back, which I still have, but it's getting better. So if it doesn't rain, we be doing Osgood Trails. We're hoping to go out there and try fishing for the first time and have a picnic for the first time. But if it doesn't happen, maybe next weekend. Uh. Alright guys, still fishing, trying to come up with general ideas on how to catch them, and you do, you do, you don't, you don't. 
but we're having the time of our life. Aren't we, book reader? Yes. That all you can say? Do you miss? Do you miss not having your fishing pole? Nope. Yeah. Enjoying can you believe she ain't fishing? That should be against. That should be a crime. It should be anyway, right? Okay. While well, I was checking the bait on Lucifer, dumpster here just got a big old chomp on him. So immediately, my book reader, my book reader Angie, grabbed the pole. So we're going to watch and see if he bites again and Angie can bring in hopefully a good sized carp. So tell me Angie, do you miss fishing since you got my pole? No. Ain't this more fun than book reading? No. Who is that person? Okay, Angie's on the other pole now. Right there she is. I was putting the bait on this one and this one's getting good bites. So she grabbed this pole. And you say you'd rather book read. I think I you're full of baloney. Absolutely nothing worse than having to go pee when you fish. And you don't want to go pee because you don't want to miss big, that big bite like I just had. Ain't that strange? Okay, I can't hold it anymore. GoPro, turn off. Oh, I gotta go potty. And it will look kind of funny going potty with this GoPro on my head. But I gotta go potty. And Angie's gonna sit in my chair and watch the one pool I have out. I'm also out of worms, so when I get back, I'm gonna put a dough ball on Lucy. So we'll be going dough ball the rest of this evening. But I'll be back. I can't hold it, man. I gotta go potty bad. I'm back. Where's the fish? Did you catch a fish while I was gone? I had a bite. Was it a good one? Yeah, yeah. He, he got off. Had Seriously? You had one on? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should go to the bathroom more often. Well, I'll tell you what, my pain level on the way to the bathroom didn't get any higher than five and a half. On the way back, the pain level didn't get any higher than five. And see, that's good. Because most this week and last week, the pain was up at eight, nine, and ten. That's a pretty good walk to the bathroom. All right, guys, when I get the GoPro on my head and get my stuff out there, We'd be for fun fact number four. I think we're on number four. But for now, we're going to do, we're just going to call it number four. Okay, so let me get suited up, dough balled on. Let's get the fish in, and we'll come back with fun fact number four. Dang it, if you caught that fish, we wouldn't have to worry about a fun fact for another 30 minutes. You know that, don't you? Sorry, he got off the line. Why would I bring you with me? So I could read. Okay, fun fact number four, and I don't know if it's actually a fun fact, but it's definitely a fact. Here at Versailles State Park, you have awesome people. DNR around here is super awesome. The people at the front gate that you pay to come in or show your card like we do. The gate people from the blah, 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 blah. All right, Mike, get your head together. I know I'm fishing. I know I'm trying to pay attention, but you're also making a video. Pay attention, Michael. Okay. The people at the front gate are awesome as well. The people at the gate where you camp at, they're awesome. The bathrooms here are always spotless. The park itself is always clean. Every now and then you get a you get a person leaving their garbage behind. But usually if DNR or the people run the park see it, they clean it up. Unless we're here, we clean it up. But this place is so awesome. <laughs> That's another fun fact, guys. If you ever decide to come to Versailles State Park, understand it's going to be beautiful, clean, and friendly people. That's right. And that is a fact. I back that up. I do! Alright, time to go fishing. Hey, we got two bees now. Well. As the weather's getting a little cooler right now, I am reminded when we was camping down here, and we came down here pretty much at this spot right here. And we moved the picnic table all the way from one side of the park to the other. Or well, one side of the lake down yonder to here. And a hot day. Oh my god, it was bitter hot. I remember we sat here and was only able to fish for 20 minutes, I think. I caught a carp and we were so hot. Oh, we had to go back to camp. Man, that was right here. Now the weather's just perfect, man. It is perfect. I wish I had a tent right now. Right up there. That's the camp area right there. I wish I had a tent right now up there. Camping away. 
Oh, man, that'd be so much fun. All right, getting bites. Ain't catching them yet. In about 10 minutes, it'll be time for fact number five. All right, fun fact number five. And in case you guys forgot, I'm doing a fun fact every 30 minutes. I don't catch a fish. So fun fact number five. How long does that make me be in here? If it's five, that means two and a half hours. Yeah. But anyway, fun fact number five is Versailles State Park has some of the best trails you could possibly ever hit. They have the easy ones, a little bit of the harder, and they have some good rugged ones. If you go back in my videos, we've done just about every trail here. There is one or two trails we have not done, and there are some horse trails we have not done. But that's going to be done this fall. That's right. We're going to go back and we're going to do these trails this fall. But they have some of the best hiking trails you can possibly imagine. Man, it sounds like I should be a spokesperson for Versailles State Park. Well, maybe I should be because this place is great and I'd like to share it with you all. I wouldn't lie about this. And I'm not getting paid and I'm definitely not being sponsored by them. It's just that good of a place. And yes, I do love the fishing here. It is my favorite place to fish. But I kind of got a little burned out on the fishing here. And the reason I'm fishing here today is because my back is still shot. And it's easier to pull in right where I'm at right now. Walk right here down to here and fish. Believe me, if it wasn't for that, I'd probably be fishing the Ohio River. Only because I'm, it's good to mix it up. Alright guys, I'm going to go back to fishing and hopefully I won't have to do fun fact number six. Actually, I did miss a fun fact. So that means we've been here three hours because I caught that fish. So I missed that one half hour. Been here for three hours. We're going to probably kick it up. Oh, shoot. It's starting to rain. And there went your GoPro. Yeah, my GoPro. I don't know if it's still on or not. Probably took a million pictures. It's starting to rain, guys. There goes my reading. Dang it. I'll be back. Okay, if it starts raining, I'm going to put this camera away. And everything's going to have to be done on the GoPro. That means, um, yeah. Because it's right now waterproof. Mm. And I'm getting bites like crazy. But it's definitely starting to rain. <laughs> Who cares, right? There ain't no lightning, so we're fine. Well, that was a little neat little rain shower we had. I had to put you guys away for about a half an hour. But we're drying off and we're still fishing. Yeah. I was hoping that little bit of a rain shower to cool things off a little bit and in the water that is and start giving us more bites so it's still May yet it's almost time for another fun fact guys actually it is time for a fun fact let me get back with you I'll come up with another fun fact real quick it's actually past time fun fact number six this particular park has a covered bridge. That's right. I've gotten that in my videos many times. That just adds to some of the charm here at this park. Yeah. So if you like covered bridges like I do, yeah. It has a beautiful covered bridge. I wish I had more history on it, but I don't. Oh, guys, it is so hard to videotape and pay attention if you're getting bites because it makes me lose my, my thought pattern. So we're going to put you all down for a while. We catch them, we catch them. I get it on here. I tell you about it. If not, that would be in that be it for the fun facts. I should have been better prepared, but I'm I'm winging it. I'm winging the fun facts. I did not prepare myself. On the way here, I was like, "Hey, aunt, let's have a little fun with today's video. Let's do some fun facts." So, we're going to put you down. If I catch them, I'll let you know. If not, you'll see me when it's time for us to go. All right? Let's get doing some serious fishing. All right, guys, we're going to call it. I'm going to try the same thing I did last time. I'm going to run the GoPro while I'm breaking down just so I can do the jump cuts and add some music to the footage. I enjoyed it the last time I did it, but the last time I did it here, I went to go grab my pool and bring it in. I had that nice size carp on there. So my fishing pole, which is dumpster, would be the last thing I bring in. We're going to give it every second to catch that fish. But we're getting hungry. The only thing I had to eat today, it's about 6 o'clock in the evening. The only thing we had to eat today was a couple biscuits. I'm getting hungry. So we're going to break her down. And I give my closing thoughts, thing B, at the car.
Okay, that will conclude today's fishing. Whew. Uh, in case you guys are worried, don't worry. As soon as my back gets better, we'll be doing the hiking. And them type of adventures. But right now, we want to get as much fishing in as we can anyway. Because time's getting short. Oh, man. Whew. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm hoping to go to Osgood Trails and fish and have a picnic. But we have to wait for the weather. But we'll come up with something, guys. Whew. I'm hungry. I'm going home and get some yum-yums in. Uh, my poor wife is putting all the stuff in the car because of my back. <laughs> I'm a lazy son of a gun, ain't I? Alright, guys. Until next time. Come on. Let's get out of here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to watch the skit for Saturday. They're silly. They're crazy. They make you go black. They make you be like, what the hell am I watching this for? But they're fun. Until next time. Come on. Let's get out of here. There's the net right where we left it.